I rise in support of AB 617, and I want to first thank our Natural Resources Chair and colleague from Bell Gardens for her tremendous work to develop the strongest air pollution controls in our nation. In February, we stood together with others acknowledging that while we had made substantial progress addressing pollution and public health issues in low-income communities, there was, we had done a lot, but there was still much more that needed to be done. Over the last few years, we cracked down on lead contamination at the former Exide battery plant site, invested in clean water for those, wells, those whose wells were tainted with chromium-6 or other carcinogenic chemicals. We made investments in urban forestry and helped low-income families replace old polluting vehicles so they can save money on gas with cleaner, newer hybrid vehicles. And along with our colleague from Inglewood, we passed the Transformative Climate Communities Program to give some of the communities most impacted by environmental challenges funding to make their communities greener, healthier, and safer. But on that February day, we collectively acknowledged that this was not enough. We recognized that we were failing to safeguard many communities across the state and that we must act to live cleaner and live better. And the result is this bill. AB 617 empowers our air districts by exped expediting retrofit requirements for large industrial emitters that are more often than not located in many of our low income and disadvantaged communities. What this means is that by 2023, industrial sources regulated under the cap and trade programs, program will be retrofitted to a standard that is reflective of the best available retrofit control technology. And for the first time with AB 617, we begin the implementation of community level plans to reduce toxic and criteria emissions from both stationary and mobile sources in our hardest hit areas. These plans will set reduction targets, establish regulatory deadlines, as well as enforcement plans. Will we have more to do after today? You bet we will. But these are critical benchmarks in our efforts to attack air pollution in our most underserved areas. And for these reasons, I support this bill and I ask for your I vote.